Hello, in this video we will be taking a look at some of the other export options of DRM, namely the SUU and bootable ISO options. Under the export menu, we will see the bootable ISO and SUU ISO files. Before we can utilize these options, we must first download the plugin files. We can go back to the jobs menu to confirm when this process has completed. Now that the process has completed, we can try making the bootable ISO. Notice that we will be unable to finish due to an error. The bootable ISO requires the bin files as we will be running this from a Linux distro. We will now create the new repository for the Linux bootable ISO. I will keep it the same as the previous repository, only this time we will be choosing the Linux option for the operating system. Now, let's go back to the export option and try again. As you can see, we do not get this error message any longer. After the job has finished, we will be able to utilize the ISO file. I've got an iDRAC virtual console pulled up to showcase this feature. I will add the media to the iDRAC and then restart the server using the ISO as the boot device. After the system boots to the media, the rest of the process is automated. The only thing we'll have to do is press enter to reboot once the update process has completed. I have skipped ahead to the end so you can see the final screen. The system updated the RAID controller and is now asking to reboot. Now let's go back to the DRM screen and we'll try creating the SUU. I will be using the repository with the Windows dub files. Now that this is completed, we can go check on the ISO file. To give an example of how this can be used, we will mount the ISO and then run the launcher inside it. If running the SUU on a physical Windows host, it would gather the inventory of the host and then provide updates based on what we have included in our SUU. Thank you for viewing this tutorial on utilizing DRM for creating an SUU ISO or bootable media ISO.